Shalom, giving all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachachakurash. Double honors to the apostles, the bishops, and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. And I wanted to get into this question that was asked on the comment board uh, real quick while I have time. As you can see at the bottom of the screen. All right. The question was, thank you for this. Who are the sons of God in the book of Job? Okay. And when we go to the book of Job, you see here in Job 2 and 1, it's also in Job 1 and 6. It says, and there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before Yahweh, and Satan came amongst them also to present himself before the Lord, letting you know that Satan is under the orders of the Most High God, Yahweh. Okay, he's not on his own agenda. He's not in heaven, you know, rebelling against the Most High and then, you know, getting kicked out for playing the wrong, you know, playing some trap music. And the Lord kicked him out of heaven. You know, those are myths um, that are all associated with uh, uh, fables, cunningly devised fables. But I'm assuming this question is being asked because when you see the term son of God or sons of God, you know, in the uh, Bible, you know, there's uh, classes, you know, there's a heavenly, as you can see here, Job 2 and 1 in the NLT. One day, members of the heavenly court, see, the heavenly court came again to present themselves before Yahweh, and the accuser Satan came with them. All right. So, boom, this is speaking of in the heavens right here in um, Job, the second chapter. There was a council in the heavens letting you know how. Things that play out on earth are a result of councils, all right, ordained in the heavens. Just like there was a point where the Lord, you know, wanted a particular uh, false prophet to be destroyed. So he sent a lying spirit down into the mouth of a prophet that ultimately led to someone else doing something all right, that was detrimental and they got put to death. All right. So everything that happens on earth, it's ordained. All right. In the heavens first. So here in Job, the uh, the uh, second chapter, the sons of God here are the angels are the 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 uh, Allah Hayim in the heavens. All right. Now on earth, when you get all right, the book of uh, Genesis, the sixth chapter, the sons of God. <clears throat> OK, as you can see here. Genesis six. And one, and it came to pass that when men multiplied on the face of the earth, all right, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men. The sons of God here, all right, are speaking of none other than the descendants, all right, of Adam through Seth. When you go to Genesis, the fifth chapter, all right, it gives you the lineage, all right, of, um, Adam, okay, through Seth, because remember, Abel was slew. So Genesis, the fifth chapter, okay, gives you the breakdown of the lineage of Adam through Seth, leading all the way up to Noah, which what happened at the time of Noah, Jake started to go completely off, the sons of God, all right? And when you uh, understand the sons of God, as I'm going to show you, it's all predicated to obedience, as we'll show you, because even going back here, when you go to Job real quick, let's go back to Job two and one. All right. The sons of God here. All right. Is the heavenly court. All right. And when you get Job 38 and seven real quick. Job 38 and seven. All right. As is dealing with, you know, creation, this whole chapter is dealing with, you know, uh, certain you know aspects of creation verse 6 says where whereupon are the foundations thereof fastened and laid the corner uh laid the cornerstone thereof when the morning stars sang together and all the sons of god shouted for joy okay and that's the angels verse 7 as the morning stars sang together and all the angels shouted for joy. All the angels 
which are the the, the Alahayim, you know, in the heavens. All right, when every you know when things were created, you know they they shouted for joy. You see, the sons of God are the angels in heaven. All right, but then you have another aspect of the sons of God. All right, as we we're we're going here on to uh, Genesis the uh, sixth chapter. All right, which are men on earth, and before the Israelites were called Israelites, they were known as the sons of God. You have three classifications of men. You have the sons of God, okay, the Israelites, the chosen seed, the sons of men, the heathen nations, and the son of the wicked, okay, the Edomites, which before the flood, all right, it was the sons of Cain, okay, that was the sons of the wicked, all right, which they were a wicked seed, just like through Isaac, there was Jacob and Esau, and there was a wicked seed in the biblical Edomites all right but they they both came from you know Isaac Jacob and Esau both came from Isaac however Esau was the wicked all right just like Cain and Abel came out of Adam all right but Cain and his lineage were known as the wicked so here in Genesis the sixth chapter these are nations on the earth all right and this is basically showing you how the Israelites before they were called Israelites the sons of God started to draw wicked and fall away from the righteous way they were mingled among the heathen and learned their works that which is then is now so this is the first all right story you know, you know stemming from the fall of adam of our people becoming gentiles in a sense genesis 6 and 2 that the sons of god okay saw the daughters of men and that they were fair to look uh they were fair and they took them wives, which they chose. And what do we know about our people when they get mingled among the heathen and start making marriages with them? They start to fall away from their 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 ways. OK. And Yahweh said, my spirit shall not always strive with man for that he is also flesh. Yet his day shall be in 120 years. So there you go. This is letting you know. This is speaking of men on earth. All right. They, they're called giants. All right. And, and uh, in the scriptures, OK, as the scriptures say, there were giants in the earth in those days. And when you look up this term giants. OK. So lucky. <clears throat> Verse four. There were what giants. And that's where you get the term the film. All right. Or Napoleon. All right. Giants. And when you get to the root word, it just means to fall the fallen ones. So as Moses is writing, you know, the first five books of, uh, you know, which are the Torah, he's basically giving us our history of, you know, our origin, you know, to the Alahayim, you know, created the heavens and the earth. And he's also given the perspective of our history when we came onto the earth and the fall that came with Adam's transgression that stemmed from Eve. So to fall, the fallen ones. So when people see that term giant, they they tend to think the sons of God were, you know, angels who came to the earth and had sex with women. No, this is speaking of the chosen seed mingling amongst the heathen nations and taking on to their customs. And the history can be found in the book of Second Edras. Let's see if we can pull it up here. Second Edras. Let's see. Yep, Second Edges chapter three, and I'll just read it real quick. Verse five, and gave us a body unto Adam without soul, which was the workmanship of thy hands, and didst breathe into him the breath of life, and he was made living before thee. And thou leadest him into paradise, which thy right hand had planted before the uh, earth came forward. So the earth was created, all right, for the sons of God to come onto the earth and rule, which is Adam, okay, and his lineage. You know, through Seth, they were supposed to rule this earth in righteousness. But we know that a fall came. And unto him thou gavest commandment to love thy way, which he transgressed. And immediately thou appointed death in him and all his generations of who came tribes, people, kindreds, and nations out of number. And everyone walked after their own will and did wonderful things before thee and despised thy commandments. And again, in the process of time, thou broughtest the flood upon those that dwelt in the world 
and destroyest them. Why? Because they walked after their own will, okay, and despised his commandments, okay? And it came to pass in every one of them as death was to Adam because of Adam's fall, so was the flood unto these. So through Adam's fall, okay, the sons of God, all right, had to suffer what? Decay, you know, the rebellious mindset. Nevertheless, one of them now left us, one of who? One of the chosen sons of God, thou left us, namely Noah, with his household of who came all righteous men. All right, and that term giants as well, real quick. Okay, that term giants, when you go to the uh, Apocrypha, okay, Sirach 16 and 7, he was not pacified toward the old giants who fell away in the strength of their foolishness. Okay, Baruch 3 and 26, there were giants famous from the beginning who were of great stature and so expert in war. Okay, also in the book of uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the 14th chapter, which goes into that history, it tells you for an old time when the proud giants perished. How did they, why did they perish? Because of idol worship as you go into this chapter. So the sons of God, pursuant to what we just read here in 2nd Edges, the third chapter, okay, they fell, they fell away. Second Edges, the seventh chapter, oh, Adam, all right, what hast thou done? Though you have fell, you ain't fell alone. We have all suffered because of your fall. So this is what this is talking about. The sons of God here in Genesis, the sixth chapter, is speaking more so of men on earth in, in form of the chosen lineage, because we are the sons of God, okay? It's just that at the time of what? Abraham who had Isaac, who had Jacob, which what lineage did Abraham stem from? He stemmed from this very lineage we're reading from, from Noah through Shem, through Arphaxad. Okay, basically uh, the, 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 the sons of God, all right, through Abraham were restored, all right, to that way, all right? And then he had Isaac and Jacob, okay, in which Jacob's name was changed to Israel, which means prince of the power, sons of God, okay? all over again so the, the the sons of god in the in the in the book of genesis the sixth chapter all right are the chosen lineage the men of the lord on earth all right and then another aspect of the sons of god is let's get john 1 and 12 john 1 and 12 <laughs> john 1 and 12 says but as many I start at 11, speaking of Yahweh Shai. Okay. John 1 and 11. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. He came to the, the Jews, those of the circumcision, and many of them rejected him, but some accepted him. Okay. But as many as received him, all right, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name which were born not of blood, nor of the will of flesh, all right, nor of the will of man, but of God, all right, meaning they were what? Chosen or ordained ultimately in the heavens. They're just down in earth, all right, in these fleshly bodies, just as we are, all right? So the followers of Yahweh Shah who received him, all right, those were the sons of God, all right? They were just on earth, all right, in those fleshly bodies, as it says here, in uh, Hebrews, let's get Hebrews, the second chapter, Hebrews 2 <laughs> and 14, for as much as then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, all right, we had to come in flesh and blood at the time that John, you know, the, 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 the apostle John is writing this in John, you know, the, the, these are the sons of God, but they're on earth in these bodies. For as much then as children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same. That through death he might destroy him that had power with death, that is the devil. Okay? So, there you go. Verse 14 in NLT, because God's children, the Israelites, are human beings made of flesh and blood. We had to be born into the earth to fulfill prophecy. Okay? The sons also became flesh and blood. For only as a human being could he die, and only by dying could he break the power of the devil who had the power over death. So Yahweh Shai had to come in the flesh, okay? And Yahweh Shai himself is known as the Son of God, okay? 
the son of God. But the sons of God, all right, are taught or tied to those who are obedient, okay, to Yahweh Bashim Shai. Let's read it again, John 1 and 12. But as many as received him, all right, to him, all right, as many as, many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of the Most High, even to them that believe on his name. Let's get Romans 8 and 14. So you see the different aspects of the sons of God in the scriptures through what we're bringing out. We brought out the heavenly perspective, the heavenly host, the angels in the heavens, all right, who do the, you know, are responsible for the will of the Lord being done on earth. Okay, uh, uh, they're the sons of God on earth. All right, that order was, so that's, even in our prayer, we say on earth as, as it is in heaven. See, when you deal with the resurrection, all right, those first fruit spirits that were created from the foundation of the earth are going to come back together under Yahweh Shai. And eventually we're going to come down to the earth and rule in those heavenly bodies. And we'll prove that to you. Um, Romans 8 and 14. For as many as are led by the spirit, they are the sons of God. So it's tied to obedience. The sons of God has always been tied. All right. To being obedient. All right. To the ways of the most high God, Yahweh. All right. And when we came to the earth as the sons of God, we failed. All right. Through Adam's fall. And we just showed you the history at the time of Noah. What was Jake doing? They were going completely wicked. That's what Genesis, the sixth chapter was talking about. The sons of God mingled with the heathen and started to what? Learn their works and fell away from the, 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 the righteous way, which is the same thing that has happened to our people over and over and over again. Even at the time we received the covenant. All right, because we just saw that Adam was given a commandment to love, all right, the ways of righteousness. So the sons of God were given a commandment to love the ways of righteousness. What happened? We fell away. Well, at the time we got the covenant under Moses, what happened? We were given a commandments to know and to love the ways of righteousness. But what happened? We fell away and broke that covenant, which is why we're under these curses. All right. So as many as are led by the spirit, all right, they are are the sons of God. See? So so through obedience, all right, we're now walking back into that form, going from glory to glory to be accepted back as sons of the living power, man, through the adoption. As a matter of fact, when you get the book of Hosea, and I'm assuming that's why he asked that question, but if that's not why you asked it, well, <laughs> here's the breakdown. Hosea 1 and 10, yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be net measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. There shall it be said unto them, ye are the sons of Yahweh, the sons of God. See, then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel northern and southern kingdom be gathered together and appoint themselves one head and they shall come up out of the land all right the land of the north and all of the places where we've been scattered all right for great shall be the day of yazra'ala which is the seed of the power that's what that word means great shall be the day all right of ya uh, yazra'ala all right yazra'ala all right the words arai is to sow, to seed, seed, produce, seed, all right? Allah is power, okay? God-like power, mighty men, men of rank, mighty heroes, angels, and that's ultimately who we are. We're just in these 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 worthless bodies because of a punishment, all right, to, to, to show our obedience and prove ourselves as the sons of the Most High, okay? There you go. Call hello, Yahabashim Yashai. And the mighty men. You know, even the, uh, the uh, what's that? The, not the Power Rangers, man. I forget the name, you know, the uh, X-Men. That's all patent after the, the true sons of God, the Israelites, man. Okay, let's get the book of Philippians 2 and 15. Philippians. I think, yeah, Philippians 2 and 15. It says, I start at 14, do all things without murmurings and disputings that ye may be blameless and harmless. The sons of the most high 
without rebuke. All right. In the midst of a crooked and perverse nation among whom ye shine as as lights in the world, holding forth that word of life that I may rejoice in the day of Yahweh Shai, that I have not run in vain nor labored in vain. So there you go. Do all things without murmurings and disputings that ye may be blameless and harmless. The sons of God. See. So we're 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 here in these, you know, in this decrepit flesh as a punishment, you know. Um, and we're we're trying to get back to that glory we had. That's why it says in John, first John, the uh, third chapter, and the first verse, behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed on us that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth us not because it knew him not. So when people hear our cry and our doctrine and what we're saying and talking about getting the earth back in order under Yahweh Shai and, you know, going into don't eat this, don't eat that. This is the water is defiled. People don't really understand where we're coming from because they don't know. All right. Yahweh Shai. See, we know Yahweh Shai. So the, the, the aspect of the truth, once we hear it, it's like we're, we're brought back. All right, to our, our ourselves, we we understand our mission, but the world's going to look at us as if we're crazy. You see, beloved, because we we want access back to paradise. From the fall of Adam, we lost that access. We we got it back, you know, through a promise uh, uh, that the Lord gave to Abraham, and we got it under Solomon for forty years. We had access back into the garden, but the Lord told Solomon, if you go off. That I'm going to, you know, spew you and your seed. I mean, your seed on down the line out of this land. You see, and that happened. You know, the kingdom was rent split under Solomon. All right. The northern kingdom became the northern kingdom. The southern kingdom became the southern kingdom. Okay. The northern kingdom, you know, left the Assyrian captivity, came to the Americas. The southern kingdom went through these different captivities. And then in 70 A.D., you know, under the Roman Empire, we were kicked out of that land. OK, that was told to Solomon. So the sons of God, let's get that real quick in first Kings. Why is hot on my spirit? First Kings nine. And six, this is what was told to Solomon. But if ye shall at all turn from following me, ye or your children, and will not keep my commandments which and statues which I have set before you, but go and serve other gods and worship them. Then will I cut off Israel out of the land which was given them, which that's the Garden of Eden. The same thing that happened to Adam and the sons of God, they were, they were kicked out of the Holy Land. Well, the same thing happened to us under Solomon's fall. All right. I will cut Israel out of the land which I have given them and this house which I have hollowed for my name, will I cast out of my sight and Israel shall be a proverb and a byword among the people. And that's happening right now. We're a proverb and we're a byword. We're not known as the sons of God. Okay. So the, 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 under Yahweh Shai. Okay. we we have a chance to be brought back and regain that access. And we're going to do it under what the, the, the new covenant with the new bodies. First John three and two beloved, now are we the sons of God and it doth not yet what we be. Uh, let me slow down. I'm trying to rush because I ain't got that much time. Beloved. What, what, is, what does David mean? Beloved. It can mean uncle as well. The uncles are usually the beloved ones. All right. But Dawa Da means beloved. The house of David. Now are we the sons of God and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. And Yahweh Shai is the son of God. So you have the sons of God. We gave you those aspects. And then you have the son of God. All right. Which Mark 1 and 1. The beginning of the gospel of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. The son of God. See? The son of God, man. Okay. Luke. All right. The uh, third chapter. Tells you what? Luke 3. In 38, which was the son of Enos, which was the son of Seth, as we just showed you, Adam's sons through Seth were the sons of God. All right. 
which was the son of Adam, which was the son of God. Adam was known as the son of God. Yahweh Shai is the son of God. Solomon, all right? Solomon was also known as the son of God. Let's see if we can get that in Kings. Salakia. Was it 2 Samuel 17? 7? Boom. 2 Samuel 7 and 14. I will be his father. This is what the Most High said of Solomon. And he shall be my son. If he commit iniquity, I will chasten him with the rod of men. And we have no record of Solomon being chastened with the, the rod of men. All right. But we have a record of Yahweh Shai being chastened with the rod of men. But that's a whole nother lesson. All right. For a whole nother time. All right. Um, what's that? Uh, first Chronicles. All right. First Chronicles 17 and 13. I will be his father and he shall be my son. All right. This is what David uh, was told of Solomon. All right. First uh, Chronicles 22 and 10. He shall build a house for my name. He built the temple and he shall be my son and I will be his father and I will establish the throne of his kingdom over Israel forever. And that's going to happen through Yahweh Shai. Okay. First Chronicles 28 and 6. And he said unto me, Solomon, thy son, he shall build my house and my courts for I have chosen him to be my son and I will be his father. So you have the sons of God, but then you have the son of God. See, and our fall was through the son of God as the sons of God. And we've suffered. Let's get that in uh, second edge seven. So like, yeah. second edge the uh, seventh chapter in the. Uh, 40, 41 eight verse oh adam what hast thou done for though it was thou that sinned thou art not fallen fallen ones napoleon people take the nephilim and make it into this fallen angel doctrine no that was speaking of the sons of god falling from their their glory man when you read in genesis the fifth and sixth chapter you're reading about your forefathers and foremothers going off man okay what never meant for you to 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 go into this bugged out doctrine of angels coming down having sex with women first of all angels don't sin sin happens in flesh okay even wicked angels do the bidding of the most high god yahweh okay because what is he, he controls both good and evil anyway oh adam what hast thou done for thou has not for thou has sinned let's read it again oh adam what hast thou done for though it was thou that sinned Thou art not fallen alone, but all we that come of thee. And we read in Second Edges, the third chapter. Okay, that those who who uh, uh, fell, all right, were were the ones who under Adam's fall fell as well. Second Edges three and seven, and unto him Adam gave us thou commandment to love thy way. So the commandment was oral back then. It wasn't laws written on you know stones and stuff like that which he transgressed and immediately thou appoint his death in him and his generations of whom came in nations tribes people and kindreds out of number okay and how is that tracked when we when we go to adam's descendants yeah the whole world is in a fallen state but the bible is talking about those who were supposed to be at the forefront okay going off man okay the the, the again even when you go here, let's just type in Seth. Hold up. <laughs> Boom. When you go to Chronicles, how how is the sons of Adam accounted? The descendants of Adam were Seth. Enos and what happened at the time of Enos then began men to call on the name of the Lord man and then as it goes down all right it goes to Noah Shem Ham and Japheth man and the descendants of the sons of God are accounted through the descendants of Shem all right through our facts ad, right here verse 18 our facts ad. so you have the sons 
of God in their heavenly sense. I gotta roll out. You have the sons of God in their earthly sense, okay? And then you have the aspect of being a son of God because you're obedient. Because the reason we fell away from that glory of being the sons of God was disobedience, all right? But it's all under the son of God, which is Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Hopefully y'all are edified. Any questions, ask on the comment board. Shalom.